Now, are you tired of inconsistent and time-consuming web design projects? Well, today I'm going to introduce you to Atomic Design, a web design methodology that can help streamline your workflow and improve the consistency of your designs. So what exactly is Atomic Design? Well, Atomic Design breaks down web design into smaller reusable components called atoms, which are then combined to form molecules, organisms, templates, and pages. It's like building with Lego, by using the atomic design, we create a design system that is consistent, efficient, and easy to use. So let me give you some real world examples of the five stages of atomic design. First up, we have atoms. Now atoms are the smallest building block of a design system. They're single, standalone elements that can be used throughout a website or application. Some examples of atoms include things like buttons, form fields, icons, and typography. Next up, we have molecules. Now molecules are combinations of atoms that will form more complex components. They're still relatively simple and self-contained, but they can perform more specific functions. Some examples of molecules include things like search bars, navigation bars, and product listings. Now we have organisms. Now organisms are groups of molecules that can form more complete sections of a website or application. They're complex and can include multiple functionalities. Some examples of organisms include things like headers, footers, and product pages. Next up, we have templates. Now templates are the skeleton of a website or application. They provide a basic structure for the content to be added into. Some examples of templates include things like wireframes and grid layouts. Finally, we have pages. Now pages are the final product of the design process. They are the fully realized version of a website or application. Examples of pages include things like home pages, landing pages, or product pages. Now, here are some real world examples of atomic design in action. First up, we have Airbnb. Now, Airbnb's design system is based on atomic design principles. The system includes a comprehensive library of atoms, molecules, and organisms that can be combined to create new pages and features. For example, they have a rating atom, a user profile organism, and a reservation form molecule. Next up, we have Shopify. Now, Shopify's design system is also built on atomic design principles. The system includes a library of reusable components that can be combined to create new pages and features. For example, they have a product card molecule, a checkout form organism, and a header organism. Next up, we have Apple. Now, Apple's design system uses atomic design principles to create consistency across the entire product. For example, the company uses a consistent set of typography, iconography, and color throughout the product to create a cohesive and recognizable brand. And finally, we have MailChimp. Now, MailChimp's design system uses atomic design principles to create consistency across all its products. For example, the company uses a consistent set of typography, color, and iconography throughout its products, creating a cohesive and recognizable brand. Now, one of the biggest benefits of atomic design is its consistency and efficiency. By using reusable components, you can spend less time on repetitive tasks and more time on the creativity side of things. Additionally, Atomic Design promotes better communication and collaboration among team members. And let's not forget scalability and reusability of the design system itself. You can use these components across multiple projects, saving you even more time in the long run. Now, you may be asking, when should you use Atomic Design? It's perfect for complex web applications, multiple platforms, or large projects. However, for smaller projects, simple websites, or highly customized designs, it may not be necessary. It's all about finding the right fit for your project. So let's summarize. Atomic Design simplifies complex systems by breaking them down into smaller, more manageable pieces. This makes it easier to create a consistent user experience and promotes reusability and scalability. It also fosters collaboration and communication between designers and developers. It improves efficiency and ultimately reduces costs. Finally, Atomic Design future-proofs your design system by creating a library of modular, reusable components that can adapt and evolve over time. Now, this is just a really brief introduction to the whole concept behind Atomic Design. And if you'd like to learn more, let me know in the comment section down below. Tell me what you'd like to learn about Atomic Design, all those kinds of things, let me know. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tats, and until next time, take care.